Welcome to the Fen Phoenix Meditation Hour. Can you feel your toes? Last time I went through a gate and didn't find a kitchen. This time I'm not going to go through this. Okay, and this time nothing is going to happen whatsoever. But at least I can grab some loot. So yeah, also there's a, there's a key that I kind of must have reloaded after getting or something. So let me just go back and see if I can find that again. Uh, greetings everyone, my name's Fen. I'm good at finding people, and yes, some of them were keys, but, uh, seriously, bat murderer? I don't think so, mate. You are a slight piggity. It's very disgusting. Yes, I'm going all the way back here because there's a key. In case you, uh, are misremembering that or something. Oh, do -da, do -da. oh my god, what is this? It's a door. Why is there a door between sections of town, and why don't I remember it? Being there. What made that what? song? Yeah. Yeah, so. What what was the place that I need to go back to to get that darned old oh, freaking key? It was a guy walking around somewhere. Not there, evidently. I think I'm going the completely wrong direction here. Yeah. Weird. What's your problem? You will no longer be crawling around the street. Also, you don't have the key on you. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I've completely lost my bearings. Isn't it great? Sure is. Woo hoo 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 how Jesus Christ, what? Get your ass over here. What? Now look who finally decided to grace us with his presence. Captain Leopold Porcius himself, stalwart leader, punctual as always, a standing ovation for our captain, please, Claude. Quiet down, you oaf. He's not that far off, he's gonna hear you. Stations us out in the cold for two nights in a row, no rations, no extra pay, and he can't even bother to drag his ass out of the whorehouse to arrive on time. He can go tap himself for all I care. All right, all right. Well, he's here now. So, what do we do? We wait for Lewis to come down the street and tell us Polly's done his business. Then we pack up and leave. And in the meantime? In the meantime, you keep walking in circles, and I sit here pretending to guard the market stalls. Like a belchous prick I am, long as I'm concerned. If Captain Polly's here, then it's not our business anymore. It's his. I'm off to get drunk down a tavern. Suit yourself, Claude. I'm keeping watch. Somebody's gotta look busy. Ah, uh, not again. Isn't this a surprise? Wherever I go, Captain Polly has to follow. I've had enough. It's time to put you in your place, Porcius. Six feet underground. <laughs> okay, I, I guess I know the guy or something. Alright, optional. And that's still not the hidden objective. Optional. Leopold Porcius is a captain of the guard and a constant nuisance to both you and King. Now he's here too. It's time you dealt with him once and for all. Careful! Careful! You're here on King's behalf. Anything you do may be pinned on him. Find some way to deal with Leopold that does not involve direct violence. So, so that's optional so I can actually do the one thing without doing the other or do I have to do them both? I don't know. I, whatever. I'm not even going to freaking deal with that right now. Instead, I'm going to coward my way back over to Snowhead Lane. I think... Oh, my God. I think I might have to go through that fence. What is this? Well, I guess I'm not getting the key. herp a derp Yes, of course, one of these keys will do it. Nope. Can't waste a key, you know. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. I'm gonna forget where I'm going if this keeps up. Also, is this gonna be one of those super dark and darkeny darken things? <laughs> I can play a mean washboard. I can't, but you know, I'm gonna say I can to impress the ladies who are all up in this room, everywhere. Well, this is some sort of kitchen. I don't see why this would be the kitchen with a room above it. But it is the first kitchen I've ever seen in my entire life, so I'm going to savor this moment. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm done. Really, Percy? That's all we have for food next month? Just go to Skipper already and demand he raise your cut. Why can't you barge in his godless tavern and put your foot down? See how he lives all by himself? And us three all have to live in a hovel? How are you still asking him for loans? The wine warehouse is on your name. The wine warehouse is on your name. When are you going to grow a backbone? Well, if your name is Sir Talbert Buxomly Wine Warehouse, then it's not my problem if you get utterly mocked. It's like, oh, oh wow. She gets up. <laughs> How inconvenient for a thief like me. I didn't prepare for this sort of contingency in my profession. I should probably skedaddle out of here freaking immediately. Yeah, I think it's just going to take me back to the... Kind of. Or not. You know, back to the hammer place, tower place, tower, but... Oh. Alright. One of these days I'm going to get to use a key. And then it'll get gunk on it. Because I'll just like, eat pizza. And horrible pizza on top of pizza on top of other pizza all over my keyboard. You know, because keys, <laughs> they're on a board. I'll be here all night. Okay, but seriously. Time to get the heck back here. To do that thing I said I was gonna do. Good lord. I'm... I'm just confused. I mean, huh. what, was, what, was what is this hellscape? Oh, you got the key, haven't you? What was, what was I think that so. Sound? Nope. No, but I swear there was some dude around here that had it. I don't know. I'm just gonna kill everybody until I find it. Sound like a good political plan? Excellent. I'll be Prime Minister in no time. Or Prime Minister, if you want to be a cat with ears. Really? You're not the one. Well, then what? Don't you shout pleasantries at me? You must be the one with the key. Yeah, you are, but can I take it when I'm carrying body? No. Alrighty then. Oh, hiding by the light. Smart man. I hate smart men. I would never get into bed with a smart man. Brain cells are nothing but a hindrance, especially under the sheets. But if you're over top of them, well, it's a completely different story. Pretty sure uh, that's fairly obvious, though. Just as with everything I s oh. Reached wrong. Just as with everything I say, it's monumentally obvious what I'm going to say next. Bacon loaf. Ah. What? Now I know I did a number on this guy before. There you go. So the maintenance station key, I'm guessing, is going to unlock one of these doors that that I'm looking to unlock. So yeah, also, yeah, I can go back in here and take this call. Oh, Christ, on, on a freaking hilltop. I sure am excited. All right. I mean, obviously it's some sort of evil ritual item, but hey, nobody has to know that. It's just a skull. I'm sure I can sell it for many pennies to an evil ritual doer, but they won't pay me more than a few pennies because they're evil, you know? If they were good, they would abide by the laws of capitalism. Just, like, very fluffy indeed. So much so that there's been some controversy that maybe they should be made more spiky and harmful to people's skulls. And I think that's a pretty mighty fine idea. But, uh, I really like those windows. But that's as maybe. Still a frog. Wait a minute. There's supposed to be a dude walking around. Oh, is it that dude that I took out, perhaps? Because that would be mighty convenient and also just simply mighty. Uh oh. So, let me try going back to that place. Oh. Also, there's some Easter eggs. One involves doing a thing, and the other involves, like, an equin or something. Oh, this is just this. P I hadn't intended to go back here, but I guess while I am here, I might as well go and get whatever actual loot happens to exist around. Sound like a good plan? Awesome. And possibly get caught in this horrific light. Not to be confused with terrific lights. Very different things. One is colloquial. The other is literal. Well, that's that's just it, you know. No further explanations are necessary. That is blood dripping off not a guy but a duck, so it's perfectly okay and not disputable or disreputable. Or, uh, 
Trixie shaped whatsoever. Okay, because this room's just a body dump. It's pretty environmentally friendly because these bodies are biodegradable unless, of course, they've got gold teeth or lead teeth or mercury teeth. Which, uh, isn't that what dental fillings used to be? It's pretty weird, but <laughs> what, what do I know about dental fillings? Oh, <laughs> nothing, I'm absolutely certain. So, the only opposition here is some dude standing in the kitchen. This is the conclusion that I'm jumping to. And it turned out to be wrong. Mmm, yourself. Oh, <laughs> a dude and his lady. Okay, I guess that's some kind of opposition. And they're walking like ghosts. You know, in order to spook people, you gotta walk wow, slowly. So that people think you're a zombie. It's uh, quite effective at these superstitious types to make people think you're a zombie. And I'm not even going to knock them out. Instead, I'm going to wait for Madame Zom to just leave that seance to more experienced supernatural para investigators who realize that crop circles are really just made by cows for this. rolling around. I'm not going to on their backs and not aliens or any kind of remote controls whatsoever. That's just stupid talk. That was an Invader Zim reference! Alright, well... If you would just go ahead and close that would be great. <sighs> Knowing that perhaps the ending will one day be written and everyone will die because that's part of the definition of an ending being written, I suppose. Death and blood and spurting all kinds of copies of Action 52 out of your nose hole. It's a wretched time. Wow. I, uh, I hope that... I hope some of these keys I've gotten will, uh eventually start making some sense or whatever. I don't think anybody comes in here, though, do they? I don't know. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Get out of the way, chair. What a useless appliance. You don't even have any tongs or blades or concave surfaces. Bloody ridiculous. The newly appointed bishop visited the tavern today, ran his mouth about how the Lord Builder disapproveth of such pleasures of the flesh. I reminded him the place was originally church property and that many of the church's acolytes come and drink in Builder's name, and for the clergy's health, he kept huffing and puffing and ran a Builder guard out before he could pay his bill. It was better when old Pelagius was still around, but Builder calls us all to his gates sooner or later. I've been thinking of offering the church a deal, but I don't see an easy way now. I'm running out of options on who may inherit Skipper's Tavern when Builder asks for me. You mean the Builder? Broderick will visit. Perhaps I can talk him into it. Anything but my idiot of a brother and his snot-nosed fiddler of a son. Yeah. Violin playing is not knows indeed no class whatsoever. I wish I were back at sea, bracing the w uh, the title of the last video begs to differ. I wish I were back at sea, bracing the waves and slaying barbarous pirates. The tavern is a sunken ship, and I, its captain, have sunken with it. How many years has it been that I've ran the wine business on Percy's behalf? I wish I knew that none of the paintings, trinkets, or gold that it brought me could replace the sea. Uh, you. you you don't know that? Okay. I envy Broderick even if he may not believe it, but I mustn't let such bile pollute my heart. I will pray to Lord Builder and hope that he judge me wisely as I feel my time may soon come. Well, fine then. Did I not... Did I not want to take that... They're statues. They're not takeable. Are they not valuable? I mean, they're statues. How can they not be valuable? Sounds like the greatest kind of bird sanctuary that one could ask for, but what the hell do I know? Somebody is afoot. And I'm about to put out a candle, and the smoke doesn't even act weirdly towards the glass, which it sometimes does. Hmm. I wonder how you don't not do that. Well, I don't wonder it that strongly. I don't wonder strongly enough to bother finding out or nothing. But one remains to be conquested, and that one is this room. What was that? <laughs> Alright, you. Hey, 
Hey, get the hell out of here. Slogan in New Jersey. Where do you think you're going? You're not even staring at these statues. What are you trying to do? Prove me wrong in my conviction that they're well, valuable voice. just because they're stone busts of people? What is it with busts and being incredibly sexy? I don't know, and I'm not that interested enough to find out either. Basically what I'm saying is I'm extraordinarily lazy, and I'm always impressed with the fact that you can stretch carpet in weird ways in the dark mode. I just... <laughs> have no reason to be so enamored with such a thing. But there you are. Reason is for losers, and... You don't even have to have it rhyme for it to be true, so you know it's like an ultra-true statement when it doesn't even need the crutch of words that sound like other words. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, those look surprisingly realistic for some reason. Uh, goblets aren't valuable either. What is the world coming to? I see you there, window. That doesn't exist. It's got a handle on everything. What is the world coming to? Also, yeah, lights. I guess there's switches around that I probably seem to have missed or something. Yeah. So, never mind all the bullcocks. Phew. <laughs> that's inappropriate. Better tag my video with an adult rating for that one. Well, that's that house, I guess. No Adam, no Eve. No, uh, no nothing. Just a house. And I'm still absolutely and utterly lost. As to where the hell I'm going. Hello. What? Somebody's yelling at me. Who? Okay. How do I even get in here? Wait a minute. How do I get in here? Where's the door? Oh, that's the tavern. Oh. Okay. Good. How? Uh, how did I... How did I move forward in the world? Oh, no, man. I really can't knock you out, huh? Oh, I can. Alright. Uh, th these voices here are disconcerting. I suppose this is what people who hear voices always feel, even if they're real voices coming from actual people right there and not out of the ethers. The ethers may have been scientifically disproven, but it's a great word, and I think that great words trump science. Come on here, fellows. Okay, but seriously. Was it... How in the hell? I just keep coming around to the same places. Where was that entire other place, 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 place? Dang it. Dang it. Okay, here's Old Street. Oh, it must have been over here. Yeah. Crazy old back alleys. Yeah, that must have been it. Okay, so the place I'm thinking of must be not this way. Darn it to heck. Okay, it must be up this way then. Exciting commentary, I know, but sometimes people just want to watch the game and who am I to judge or question whenever the heck that might be the case. Are you a real do- yes you are. What? But you're locked. Okay. What? This still isn't the place I'm thinking of. What the hell's going on? Oh well. I'm gonna have to get over to these sorts of places sooner or later anyways. May as well be now before the builder calls me home. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah and there's I gotta be on the lookout for Easter eggs, so like, this here's a horse, you know, nothing to do with anything, but just sort of notating that fact. And it is a fact, you know, it's uh, it's a high stakes fact, not everyone can handle it, but it is a, it is a fact none the same. So, uh, none the same. So, uh, you know, it's a horse. You can maybe get kicked or something, I don't know. Let's try to knock out its rear end. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's pretty creepy. I am now the horse. And this is what you call telebecoming am. My skill in such is great. I'm Colin Mockery. How do you do? Okay, well, I guess this horse's bottom has nothing to do with me, so... Out with the horse's bottom and in with... The human's bottom, ah, that's much, much better thing to place in some sort of suspicious 
magazine that summer camp older boys are gonna claim that you have even though you're like eight so what the hell are they even thinking well they don't no no boys past a certain age think so like if you're 80 years old and male you also don't think you pretty much know you can't trust anything I say at this point who I uh I know I should be enjoying the moment here but clearly I live in the future and in the past Take it easy and not too fast. Grip your teddy bear on all sorts of junk like that. What I'm saying is, this house is really lovely and stuff. Well, it's a house anyway, but it doesn't have anything to do with maintenance, so too bad. Patrick, stop playing your stupid fiddles at night. You know our room is right below yours. You're giving your father a headache and I can't stand those lyrics. I don't care if it makes the tavern goers laugh. It's filthy. In Builder's name, we live right next to a church. It's that harlot Marissa, isn't it? I forbid you from seeing her. She's a bad influence on you. Have you been reading Builder's scriptures at all? Are all, all your books up there just poems and fables? Your father, he's carrying the kegs all by himself. You, you fancy yourself a bard and a whore chaser. How is that going to pay, huh? You lugged in that old chest up the stairs last week. What are you going to put in it? Coin? I think not. If you don't listen to your mother, you're getting your meals from the tavern from now on. I'll not have a lout in my house. Wow, I'm pushing my opinions onto my kids and trying to justify it by calling him a lout. Oh, making fun of parents. So, okay, so the key ain't here or something, or at least I don't see it, and therefore it's obviously not here. But, you know, perhaps Patrick's out and about in a tavern. I don't remember seeing a key on any guy in a tavern. Maybe I should go back and take a look. Oh, yeah. There was a guy playing a lute in a tavern. And I mean an actual loot, not the innuendo kind. I guess when I next think of it, I'll go back there. But first... Jeez, what is it with these dudes warming themselves by fires? How uncouth can you get? That uncouth, at least, anyhow. Oh my god, I don't... I just wish I knew where I was. Well... Oh, okay. Here I am, so I think I may have been through here already then? Oh god. What the deal? Keep moving. Yes, sir. I'm getting the hell out of here anyway. But not before I make everyone bleed from the skull. You know, we gotta get that blood that spurts out of wells and movies from somewhere. <laughs> Certainly ain't gonna be grape juice. Grapes are a valuable commodity, I told you. Okay, seriously, I'm just about almost kind of not having it anymore. Hoo-hoo! Yeah, for real. This is kind of not that funny anymore. It must have been over this way that I went, but I'm pretty sure not because... Because, you know, there's people standing around. And that's just horrible. But I guess I can take a quick look. Maybe it was over here. Yeah! Yeah, I remember this cornery door. Adorner, if you like. Friggin' here! Finally! This is the incredibly interesting freaking place that I've always wanted to be. And since I'm now where I've always wanted to be, I guess I'll take a quick look through, stealing nothing that looks golden, obviously, because machinery its high-tech, not very valuable, because it smokes and pollutes up the sky, and, you know, everybody just kind of ignores it until they start coughing, and their golf courses start also coughing, and then they start rethinking their life decisions, and it's... Pretty sad. Manual circuit breaker only used in case of emergency. Electricity field flow will automatically return in 30 seconds. Oh, I see. So I have to know what I'm going to do in 30 seconds. Unless, of course, it's just to, like, allow me to walk around town in the dark safely for 30 seconds. I don't know. It seems a little anti-climb. And I'm a pro-climbing dude. Oh, oh good, okay, so I know what Adam's quarters does. Well, I guess I'll just enjoy the lights being off until I can figure out if there's really an amazing purpose to it all or something. That glows but doesn't do anything. That doesn't even exist. And this is a book. 
main operational for several decades, and with proper maintenance, so do the valves. For a contemporary example of this, look to the recent works of Avario Menso in any of the factories lining Gutter's Row, and you will notice his intricate layouts and his foregoing of the truss in favor of a bracket fastened to the main structure with well-secured rivets. I thought I saw the word bra in here, and I was like, oh, because obviously. On the subject of a good coupling, let me relay this in simple terms. Pipe couplings are essential. Without them, a segment is but a husk of scrap. You line pipes carefully with a coupler in between, then bolt the rivets. It is done. They are now sealed forever. The pipes are the arteries that conduct the flow of the city's lifeblood, but it is the coupler rings that keep that blood from spilling. Knowing this, the seasoned mechanic always makes sure that... Pointful. Wait a minute. What? I unlocked the door just for that? Man, there's got to be a lot more to... Ah. Remember to buy salted jerky, my dear Mary, we're running low. You should see the new transformer in the station. Such a pleasant buzz, buzz, buzz. So cold and distant, you never see me. Remember when I kissed your cheek and tucked you in? Our daughter Mary... Oh, it's your daughter. Oh, okay. You should reprimand her. She slips out in the early hours of the night. I watch each night. You motion sometimes. Cry sometimes. Marissa comes to comfort you. She's grown so fast, I know. I watch each night. The pipe is laughing, I can hear it, I go down to the house where the laughter follows. Uh, also, eyes look like reverse commas, it's pretty great. What a wonderful time with Thomas at the tavern. He's an honest man, dear Mary, perhaps you should get to meet him. You don't need to worry, my dear Mary, for I plan to propose to you s What? Our daughter Ma- oh, Mary isn't your daughter. You're talking to Mary and you're saying your daughter. Whose cheek did you kiss? Whatever. <laughs> okay. I have a ring, many, many rings, and once they clasp around your fingers, you'll be sealed to me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and bolt the rivets in, yes. Well, I guess that's worth unlocking a door. I guess. Sure. Entertaining enough. Reading the diaries of crazy people. I guess the lights are back on now. Or at least some of them. Not much fanfare to it, but I do like this smoke effect, so I'm going to not look at it at all. Whoa. 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 Careful. You don't want to go on a balcony. You might catch balcons disease, and then you would end up just eating dead people. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Marco's Journal, Pig One. I was assigned to the old maintenance station today. Hard to believe Adam Bozarth ran it all by himself. They built the apartments off this place a decade ago, then ran the pipe through, supplying them and the rest of the block. Stoke says this place is creepy, what with the barred doors and whatnot, but I don't believe in ghosties. Old man Bozarth haunting the pipes and some such nonsense. I heard loud banging noises from the door to the apartments. I must admit, it gave me a scare. Must be some crazy on the other side. They should have walled the door in. I don't know why it still connects to the other building. Uh, other than that, the nights are calm. Stokes hates the constant whistling, but I find it pleasant. I found a cauldron and have set it up outside. We'll make some stew next shift. Stokes will like it. Stokes went and asked me where I found the cauldron. I lied and told him I brought it in myself. In truth, I found it in Bozarth's room upstairs. It's not my fault that the shifts are all so boring. So what if I took a peek? The old man's dead. He's not going to mind. Worst thing is, Stokes did not like the stew. What should I do? This place is so drab. Mayhaps bring one of my still... lives from home? There's a window looking out to the western yard. Weird how close they built the station to these people's houses. Saw a pretty girl living there, and I watched her go about her business for a while. I don't think she ever saw me. Way better than looking in a dumb pipe. She's frail but shapely. Lovely short red hair. I wonder how I've never seen her around the marketplace. I can watch her all day. Marco's stupid journal addendum. Two things, Marco. First, try not to leave your personal belongings out in the open where a mechanic on the other shift could easily read them. Like, for example, on this bloody table. Second, stop being a creep. You're sounding as crazy as old man Bozarth himself. Foreman Baldwin is gonna have your head if he finds out you've been taffing about in Bozarth's private quarters. Cut it out at once. As for that last entry, stop thinking with your prick and just tend to the pipe. Seems like I'm the one fixing all the leaks. Bloody hell! <laughs> 
Oh, well, you know, unfortunately, that does tend to happen. Notice, kept this door locked at all times. Keep it locked, even. The old boiler room inside the tenement is now in disuse, and tenants are free to roam inside. Foreman Baldwin. Marco, you have to keep piling lumber in the bloody furnace when I'm off shift. Just because snow's all gone doesn't mean it's springtime already. The pipe is fine, but the condensation on the panels will freeze and muck them up for good unless they're heated. P.S. Take that stupid food painting off the wall. What's this, an art gallery? Oh, wow, that's objective worthy. Um, take that stupid food painting off. <laughs> okay. Also, I can't get in here. That's too bad. It's quite intriguing sounding. <laughs> <laughs> just, just what it says. Okay, I will take the stupid food painting off the wall. Sure, no problem. Uh, if I can find it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's a silly objective. I love it. Okay, so yeah, this is the place that could be haunted or something, but isn't. I don't know. It's just kind of a place. It's got a crazy book in it. Not that scary. What you even talking about? I mean, it's dark. Okay. But, eh. Well, now that I've explored this place and, uh, possibly... ...come to be able to watch some cute short-haired girl who I probably already knocked out or something, I guess I'll consider leaving it here, but first... First, I gotta see who he's talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, wait. I can't get into that door through here. It doesn't go far enough. Unfortunate. What the hell girl is he talking about? I don't even see any place you could watch anybody. The Western Yard. Okay, this is Eastern. So. Uh, I. What? Well, okay. So there's not really any yard here. Western would be over this way, but there ain't nothing there. I don't know what the hell's deal with these freaking fools. I have no idea. This is all wrong. Oh, well. It's time to go. So see you guys next time. And see you guys next time that I don't go. Bye.